Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with the Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Alright, so this week we are swimming into the new year with a special sea turtle painting. I have my four brand new brushes here. I just got a new kit in the mail. Uh, the kit that I use is actually a watercolor brush set, but it works for acrylic or watercolor, any water-based paint, and it comes with a large uh, wash brush and then a pointed medium-sized brush and then two smaller detail brushes. Going to get those in the water cup off the side of my screen. The colors that I'm going to start with for today's background step, I just have some ultramarine blue, some violet, and some black and white. To see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my largest brush here, and we're just gonna have fun here on a diagonal uh, with some of these gorgeous background colors. So I'm gonna start with my beautiful ultramarine blue and a little bit of water onto my brush. And I think I'll sneak just a little bit of white into that color as well. And I'm gonna start here on my diagonal, going across my canvas, all the way across with my brush on that diagonal. And a little bit of water helps the paint go nice and smooth. And then a little bit of white helps it be a little bit more opaque. So you can kind of play around with that. There really is no wrong way to use acrylic paint when it comes to how much water you use. So whatever looks good to you, can water it down or have a nice thick coat, whatever you like. And I'm just working on getting a nice big strip of blue here. And I think I'll take a little bit of blue over to the side as well, kind of creating some stripiness. Okay. And I'm also going to play with a little bit of my purple. I think I'll add a little bit of blue to it. Look at that color, that's so pretty. And I'm gonna add some stripiness of my purple as well. And this is a really fun step. You can really get creative and do kind of whatever deep ocean-y feeling background colors that you're feeling. I love bright colors as you might be able to tell from my channel. <laughs> so I'm not afraid to go bold with some beautiful purple and some blue. You could do a darker blue though and I am going to add a little bit of like a navy blue. So I'm going to sneak a little bit of black. A little bit of black goes a long way into my blue until I have a nice navy blue. And since we are under the sea, we can have a little bit of shadow, a little bit of darkness, the watery depths below. Okay, but it's like the light is coming through the water as well and we're getting some beautiful blue tones Again, don't forget about adding a little bit of white to up the opacity, whether you're working with the navy or with the purple or with the blue, it can be helpful. All right, and I can even do some purple on its own, maybe, like so. Our turtle's gonna go right here. So you can keep that in mind if you wanna add any little accent colors and you don't wanna just cover them right up. I think I'll bring them over on this side of the canvas. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's see. I think a little bit more of my beautiful vibrant blue. Really get your brush going. Good dexterity practice. 
we are making sure that that paint has soaked all the way into that canvas texture. We are using canvas board. Today I'm using canvas board. Boxed canvas works well as well, but you wanna make sure that you're using canvas here so that it can stand up to that heavy body paint, okay? And let's do, hmm, I think I'm actually gonna grab a smaller brush. My gorgeous medium sized brush here. And I think I'll add a few swirls with some light blue. Just a little bit of like water movement. Just the suggestion here of like a stream of water. little here and there. It's kind of fun to pull through those colors that we just had. Okay, that looks super cute. Loving it. All right. Let's go ahead now and step away for a bit and we'll let this layer dry and then we'll come back and add a whole bunch more. All right, so I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry background and I got some fresh colors on my piece of palette paper here. So I have some black and white. I have a warm burnt sienna type brown as well as my beautiful phthalo green uh, and a little bit of cadmium yellow as well. I rinsed my brushes and got some fresh water at break. Let's go ahead and jump right back on into it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my second to smallest detail brush here. And I'm going to mix up the color that I'm going to use to sketch out my sea turtle, which is going to be a light beige. Okay, so this color is going to be sort of like the in-between color of the tortoise like shell sections. And we're gonna have a different color for his head and his arms, but this is gonna be the little shell section. So I'm gonna take that beige with my brush and I'm going to create my, my shell shape, about like so. Okay, so just a nice big like egg shaped oval is what we're going for there. Then I'm gonna rinse the water, rinse the paint out of my brush with my water and kind of load it up now with a different color for the head and the arms or fins, flippers. Not sure, I never know the exact terms. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, all right, and then let's do the face here, like the nose part, some kind of Coming out a few inches here, you can sort of adjust things as we go. But I'm going to do sort of a square-ish nose. And then a sort of oval head shape. That's going to come kind of back in and then Create a little neck as well. And I always start a little bit smaller than I think I'm gonna go. We can sort of adjust things as you go. And okay, so there I have the neck. And then I'm going to do the arms or fins. Coming out pretty close to the neck and coming out all the way up into almost to this right hand corner here. And this would go off of the canvas a little bit and then kind of flip back around. So I'll pick up right about there with some sort of squiggly lines like so and then eventually connect it back also to the shell shape. All right, and then 
I'm just gonna try to make pretty much the same shape on the other side, but it doesn't have to be the exact mirror image. This one you may or may not see the end. And then I'm gonna kind of squiggle my way back up here and connect as well. Okay, so now we have our basic shapes all blocked out, looking good. Gonna grab now my medium-sized brush again, this guy right here, and we're going to fill in those shapes now with our base colors. Okay, so this is gonna be nice and filled in here. Gonna mix my green with some white and then also a little bit of yellow for this base color here. All right, we're just filling that in now with that beautiful first layer of color. Okay, and filling that right up to the shelf and covering the sketch lines. Adjusting our shape as need be. Very cute, looking good so far. If you are painting along today, I'd love to see your work. I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club. I wanna mention that as well. If you'd like to join us over there, you can share your art, whether it be from painting along with me or just from your own studios or imaginations. I want to see your work and I want to see what you're up to. All right, and just getting both of those sections filled in. I want to make sure that I have pretty much the same color, but these are just kind of like the base colors of these sections, these areas. So Lots more to come on top of these first colors. Looking good though, all right. Just a little bit more yellow. Need my green. I just think that's a really pretty color as well. And I think I'll adjust this shape a little bit more. I like to leave a little bit of color variation within all of my filling in usually. And that kind of adds to the overall effect, makes it look more interesting. So some areas can be a little bit lighter green, some areas can be a little bit darker. That is your artistic liberty. Okay, and then I'm taking it into the face into the head shape as well and just getting that filled in also with my light green. Keeping the brush strokes in the direction of the shape. Keeping those brush strokes nice and smooth. Every brush stroke matters. Covering that sketch line and adjusting the shape if needed. So far, so good. Great, and then I'm gonna rinse my brush and come back in with some more beige. Okay, and this can be like a sand color. Let's see what if I added a little bit of yellow in there as well. I'm going for like a sandy, medium beige. And always adding a little bit of water into my paint. Not too much though, because we want some opacity, but that's why acrylic painting is all about layers. Getting 
these layers built up from the background to the foreground. Okay, and I want to bring that line right up to the little leg there and make sure that I have it covered and that I have my sketch lines covered nice and neatly. Looking good. Okay. And just gonna bring that color all the way off the edge of the canvas there and get it all filled in. Getting a little messy with my white. <laughs> bit of yellow as well just mixing up a bit more use as much paint as you need and as much time as you need okay and then now that we have our base shapes filled in here with these main colors. We're going to take another short break just for a few minutes and let this layer dry as well. Okay, see you in another couple minutes. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a dry secondary layer here, same colors on my palette paper. No changes there. We're gonna jump right back into it. I'm going to grab my second to smallest medium uh, detail brush here again. Okay, sort of small medium in between there. I think it's my favorite brush. And we're gonna come in now with a dark green. And not all the way dark though. Take a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow in there. about like so. All right, and then I'm gonna come in here to the sort of middle part of the head here and start with a shape like so. And then I'm gonna come to a point. So I have, it's like a little upside down house or diagonal house shape sort of. It is a one, two, three, four, five, five sided shape. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician, so I don't know the exact name for that. Let me know in the comments section what that shape is called mathematically. So I started a little bit smaller. I'm gonna bring it out a little bit further because I can already tell that I want it to be a little bit bigger. And then from there, I'm gonna have sort of these little sections that are either like rectangular or triangular, kind of depending on the section that you're filling in. Okay, so that one's kind of square-like and it's gonna sort of vary depending on the shape of your turtle's head and it's not exactly like perfect symmetry and we want to have lots of shapes here filling in this whole area okay so kind of bringing it into some triangle shapes now as well and sort of bringing it back here towards the neck. Lots of different shapes, sort of random shapes. And then a few smaller ones that are maybe just like brush strokes. Okay, and then as the neck meets the here. 
that they're going to turn into just these brush strokes. And then there'd be a little bit of like a shadow here where the shell meets the neck. And then up front here, we're going to have the sections for the eyes on the two sides here, like so. And then just sort of like little smaller shapes here on the top part of the nose. All right, then you can start to see sort of the texture and the shape that we're going for here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a slightly lighter green to fill in. So once I have all my shapes complete, I'll come back and fill it in. And you can also fill these in as you go if you would prefer. And it looks nice if it's a little bit darker along the outside edge, but it's not going to be about perfection here. It's going to be about the overall effect of all of these little sections that cover the turtle's skin like armor. And we're gonna go ahead and take that green into these eye sections as well. We'll add a little black eyeball later. But for now, just go ahead and get those sections filled in with green. Very nice, okay. And then the front part there of our face is mostly finished. Let's go ahead and come into the fin areas as well. I'm going to start with that same sort of like house-like shape and my little original here I just have three rows that go across and they're going to all be <laughs> these shapes. A little bit more sort of triangular once you get down to the bottom part here. And then these guys will be more like squares and you really don't want to have very much space left in between. Okay, so a little maybe half brush strokes coming off the side there since that's coming around. Very cute. I love sea turtles. I think they're the coolest. Definitely one of my top five animals. I have had the privilege of uh, visiting Hawaii and staying there for quite a while. In my youth with some family that lives over there and we would swim and they would come right up to you while you're swimming and they'd swim alongside and it was just you know, truly absolutely magical, just in the wild. And this sea turtle, the colors here, are sort of imaginary. Sort of a combination of, like they'll be green sea turtles and brown sea turtles, but I wanted to have green and brown. We're getting a little creative. All of my paintings, I, I tend to take a little bit of artistic liberty for these easy level ones. And we're not going for photorealism. We're just getting creative and having fun while we're doing it and getting some good brush practice in. Practice makes perfect. And look at how that shape just comes alive with that turtley feeling. Very nice. And just getting that all filled in with little bits of green. Okay. Look at how cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna move right along to my final little green section area, and I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. 
Okay, starting with sort of my little five-sided house guy. And then working my way out from there. Okay. And just wanna make sure I have the same color. Kind of a medium green. And we're gonna have sort of a similar pattern once we get to our shell. It's always humbling when we're doing animals or nature, like leaves on a tree, natural shapes that are just so intricate. Always gives you a real appreciation. Always gives me at least. <laughs> Okay, and triangular shapes here towards the bottom. And we're taking our time. This is really why painting is so addictive and the time just flies because you can get caught in little areas like today's mini sections and just paint the day away, which is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. And always kind of keeping myself from making too much of a pattern. And that almost gives like a giraffe print look. Reminds me of it's another thing that I think is cool is the repeating patterns that we see in nature. We truly are all one big living organism. All right, and almost finished here with this section. Looking really cute. Loving how that's already just kind of popping off of the canvas. Very nice. Okay, rinsing my brush. We're going to let that area alone for a minute and I'm going to come back into the shell section here. So let's go ahead and do something really similar here. We're going to mix up um, a medium brown. Okay, and we're gonna do a quick little out, outer edge outline with that warm brown. So you're gonna come right next to that outside edge. And create a little strip here, a little section. Great. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of a darker brown by adding some black in and just get that outside edge of my shell really quick just to make sure that that is nice and clean. And just kind of stands out a little bit better from my blue. dark brown outline, sort of a medium dark brown, not that dark. And all the way around, great. Okay, and back with my sort of medium brown. I'm gonna come right into the center of my shelf first. And this is gonna be pretty good size. Much bigger than the ones on the other sections. And I'm gonna do a shape that is actually more like this. So it has more sides, it has six sides instead of five. So 
slightly different shape there. And then I'm gonna come right next to it for the next row down and repeat that shape. Okay, like that. That's how we get that gorgeous tortoise shell pattern. And however many you end up with is fine. And the ones in the center are gonna be the biggest. So these ones can be a little bit more narrow, a little bit smaller to fit the space. Okay, like so, look at that, very cute. And then we're gonna come right next door here and add the next row in between, almost like we are like laying stones. <laughs> All right, and just taking those little sections right to the edge of our shell. And again, they can be slightly different sizes. You want to kind of come in there and fit the shape. Just like so. Okay, and that would come off the edge there. And we'll have little smaller sections right there. And then we're just going to repeat on the other side. Looking really good. All right. Little triangular sections in between making sure that it is a strong shell shape. Beautiful nature engineering. Triangles, so cute, looking really good. Okay, and then we'll also have sort of some gently curved rectangles here on the outside shell. Like so. Just working our way around and now we have our whole little shell area all sectioned out. Okay, now that we have it all sectioned out, we're going to go ahead and just fill in those sections as well. And again, you can kind of fill in as you go if you would prefer, but I liked to make it kind of all sketched out first. I think it's a little bit easier to see for you guys as well to see where, where I'm going with this rather than just confidently filling in as we go. Okay, so just filling that in with a gorgeous medium brown and we're gonna bring that all the way to where there's just a small little line of separation in between each section. Okay, just a little bit of beige showing left. And you can use the slightly bigger brush or even the slightly smaller brush if you would feel more comfortable or if you'd like things to go a little bit faster for the big one. The smaller brushes will always give you a little bit more control. Bigger brushes are gonna get things done quicker. All right, just getting that all filled in with this in-between color. And our shape is coming along nicely. And making sure every section kind of comes together logically. 
think it looks so cute. A little bit of water. And we'll put some final touches on in just a minute too. Things are looking good, but we'll have a little piece de la resistance elements to add. Okay. Moving right along. Last little sections. And there might be some areas where they kind of come together and that's okay. So we will find each of these shapes again. So like right there, it's okay if it kind of all becomes one shape. Okay, we're having patience today. And getting it all filled in. Okay, and a little bit of texture is fine and good. Don't want to spend too much time trying to make everything look too consistent. That's no fun. A little bit of variation is your friend. Particularly when we're doing things like tortoise shells. where there's a lot of natural variation in the colors. Okay. Very nice. Very much looking like giraffe print down here as well. For now. Similar, but slightly different. All right. All right, now that, that is all filled in, I'm gonna come in with my darkest shadow here. Darkest shadow color, which is going to be a brownish black. And while this is still wet, it's okay if it blends a little bit, I'm just gonna come in here and give everything a quick outline. That's gonna add just sort of like another level of depth as well. And make everything look nice and clean and tidy as much as possible. It's always a balance between sort of tidy looking shapes versus a little bit of painterliness. And if your style is naturally a little bit messier, then that's just your style. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Lean into your style, I say. Looking good. And also finding that original line that we brought in there. And if you wanna go over the outside again too, I kinda of need a second coat out there of the darker brown. And just working on our final details here, just a few more steps inside of our shell. And then also we gotta add our eyes to our turtle, of course, as well. Okay, but looking very turtle shelly, I think. And I think in some of these center ones, even a little bit of highlight would be good. A little bit of a lighter brown in some of these center ones. 
just for like a little bit of shininess. Okay, and the last couple areas, I did a little, did a little switcheroo there, my color. Switch back to my dark brown for those final few areas. Green, maybe that shell out a little bit further. You can always sort of adjust things with each step. Making things bigger, evening them out. Okay, looking good. <laughs> All right, home stretch, folks. Let's leave our shell alone for just a little bit. I'm gonna come back up into my turtle and add a little bit of dark green outlines for some of these if you want. And then another quick little sort of outline will help our turtle really pop against that blue background. A little bit of just that dark green. Nice, and then just a little bit of shadow in some of these, if you'd like. It's possible that yours is already a darker color. Just little adjustments on our little sea turtle friend. He's looking really cute. A little bit of dark shadow. Just kind of adding to some sides, creating a little bit more depth. We're gonna outline the face and head shape as well. Good, looking nice. Cute, cute, cute. A little bit darker over here. And a little bit of shadows. There in the head area as well. Kind of bouncing all around and kind of evening things out. Looking pretty cute. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of black with a clean brush and just create little eyes on either side. Wouldn't see much. Depending on the angle, you wouldn't see the eyes at all. But I think it looks a little silly not to have at least a little bit of them. Um, they would very much be that sort of side profile. And then we can add a couple little final highlights, sort of right around any section we may need. And maybe a little bit of light green, sort of in those top guys as well for a little bit of like shininess. So I just touched some light green in there and then took some paint off my brush and then came back and added a, a little bit of highlight there. But again, that's kind of optional depending on what colors you used in here. You might already have enough variation. Okay, but I'm adding a little bit more darkness and a little bit more light. I'm gonna come back into this shell section with a lighter beige with some more yellow in it. I'm gonna come in here to my shells and do a final little cool step with this beautiful beige color. 
and then come all from just one point here and go around this sort of axis like so with a little sundial like a little sunrise in each one of these And you want to have the color different enough to where you're getting some good contrast. I think that looks pretty cute. Very nice. Each little section, you're going to put a little bit of this secondary color. And then on the outside ones, they would be facing towards the outside there of the show. Beautiful tortoise shell look simplified. Super cute. All right, final little element here. I'm gonna add some super cute bubbles. I'm gonna let's go ahead and use our teeny tiny brush for that. I don't think we've used him yet. Yeah, I'm gonna do a few little bubbles here and there. I'm just gonna do these little circular shapes with little curves in them. Okay, so circular shape with a little curved line, just like so. Super cute. Maybe have one coming off of the edge. Adorable. And however many you'd like to add. I think I'll add a few little tiny dots with the back of my brush as well. Just for some nice teeny tiny bubbles. Very cute. Okay, and then a little bit more white. I'm gonna do a really light highlight with my second to smallest brush again. Just do a few super light highlights right there in my little tortoise shell area. Two for the brightest yellow. I think this is looking pretty cute. And you might even want to add a tiny bit of white in there as well. Just to have lots of variation in there and just a little bit more of that lightest highlight. Okay, just like so, or, you know, very, very light beige. Okay, very cute. I like it. <laughs> I just love turtles. They are so cool. Okay, and then I think I'll add even just a little bit more of my dark brown in some of these areas, kind of coming back down to meet that lighter color, if you want. Last little details here on the shelf. Very cute, and I think Maybe a little twinkle in the eye, eye with a light white color. And that was maybe a little bit too much. Some black right back on top. Just to make it just the tiniest, tiniest little highlight, just like so. 
All right, I think our turtle is looking pretty cute. Let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear from you. I'd love to have you join us over in the art club and I'd love to see your work. So please join us over there. And that is all the instruction that I have for us this week. So thanks for watching and until next time, stay creative.